What's up mate, my name is Dominic and for you today I'm bringing you Bay Clan's 188th win and this is against a clan called Nth. So we won here 47-34, another 20v20 war. It wasn't the best result compared to our last one which we did hit 54 war stars. This one ended up on us on 47 stars but still another dominated war and the opponents ended up not using 13 attacks so I believe they gave up re relatively early here if i just look at the war log they never had a mass of it they didn't th the main amount of their attacks really came towards the beginning within the first four hours of war of a war then they just slowed down and it ended off there and in this episode well in this video as you can see we haven't had too many great three star attacks the town or tens did struggle quite a lot this war a few for example james pecos he got I think he got two two stars, maybe not. All right, James Pecos got two star and a one star. Um, Coffee Rapier got two two stars, so fair play to him. He did really good. Jan did three three star of town or ten. I did put that in my previous video. I think it's my last video here, explaining to you guys and analyzing that amazing strategy he used on that town or ten. And yeah, so first attack here, I'm just gonna bring you our highest town hall nine three star from Bald Eagle, and he's attacking this very familiar base i think we've all seen this before on youtube this is your pretty i've seen it before and i'm definitely sure you guys have seen it this is your pat particular war base from clans that don't really use those anti three star war bases this one has a centralized town hall centralized clan castle and centralized king and queen and okay so he starts off here again he's going with just a go wee wee attack strategy with 10 balloons at the back or at the well, 10 balloons as well and the way he's done it he's placed archers on both sides taking out those three structures there are lots of free structures out on the sides of this base and he comes nicely from the bottom here one jump spell to get him into the core he still has a heal and a rage he still has all his spells left except that jump spell and of course a lava hound comes out of the clan castle so that's not too bad in comparison to a dragon and yeah so once these two air defenses over here next to the town hall go down he can nicely place those 10 balloons and literally destroy the space only like at only about 70 percent you already know it's a three star so the hidden teslas pop up behind the town hall that is a bit of a pain but he's still got golem standing he's still got his queen ability those lava pups are causing a big distraction for the queen who is sh was shooting at a wall right there well played queen and yep so now we just have a golem and our archer queen left and one witch in the middle don't think you can see the witch that much maybe now you can see the witch and once he takes down this air defense the balloons can start coming from that side and still the queen's ability and once she takes down that second air defense last air defense the balloons can come again from that side and yep so the ability goes down and once those teslas are down that's your main main concern gone for bald eagle here and now it's just he's got three wizards here once those defenses are safe you'll put them down at the top and maybe one on each side out onto left and right on each dark barrack probably there you got us right there and yep so now it's just just taking those last defenses out not very really nice those balloons having to go across the base they could have easily okay the balloon turns back towards those structures and now it's just an easy three star and a brilliant attack from our number eight on their town town or nine their number 10 not town or 10 there so there you go so for another attack again like i said there were plenty of town or seven and eights this war i think count about up to their number 16 were town or seven and eights so we only had from 15 14 and 13 so what what number should i do i've already shown you jans i'd love to show it again but it's too repetitive i'll bring you one of coffee ribs attack from a town or 10 here on the, and again this base is very squashy or normal like the little cross in the middle and then it's a very weak layout and he's coming in with six golems brilliant attack strategy and he of course pay, it paid off from there this did take him the full three minutes so i'm going to speed it up a bit because i want to bring in one more replay and the longer video the videos are the much longer it takes for me to process them it takes about 10 hours for me to process an eight video eight minute video so it's not nice at all but anyway getting back to the attack here again all the golems taken up well okay the inferno tower is quite far back so i don't think he needs to use a second free spell on that second inferno tower the town hall goes down very easily plenty of golems still standing 47 percent queen's ability is still active now it's not 
but 48% and it's looking brilliant for Coffee Rob at the moment. Oh, well, the troops did die off quite quickly. There. I was expecting about 60% from looking at that position. and But then again, as you can see, lots of the defenses are towards the inner base and he's put lots of the structures towards the outside. So plenty of free structures to get the to get to easy 50%. So again, now I'm just gonna fast forward it completely because all it is is these two archers shooting, I think. Yeah, so all, all it is is these two archers shooting. So I'll just leave from here. Again, a brilliant attack from Coffee Rib here. And if we just look at our most heroic attack then, it's the James Pecos one, and it is on this brilliant base here. It looks like a very solid base, 36 king, 40 level 40 queen there so it's a very solid place level 10 and level 11 walls so again it only took him one minute to two star this base so very interest very very good attack here very fast very efficient and he doesn't i think drag it on for too long again so this base again the walls are spread out from a second and third layer because so that you can't apply any what's it called earthquakes or that one or the one jump spell jumping between the two of them but still lava hound and clan cost again it's just a distraction doesn't cause literally no damage on the troops and it's just looking really good for james pecos at the moment on their number two town hall goes down very well the peckers so many peckers on this side of the base golem still taking damage from the cannon cannon getting distracted by the pecker so the wizards can pick it off 50 percent already and just to keep his queen full health he'll just end the raid right here and again a brilliant attack most heroic attack as well from this war and if we now just look at our stats from this war but he did miss an attack i'm not going to see who it is 10 three stars seven two stars and three one stars they did average more stars per attack but like I said, they didn't they didn't use 13 attacks, so of course they would. But anyway, guys, that's it from me. Our most current war is including me, so if I do good, I might bring you live attack as well. Or I might just be in the next recap video, if only I do good. But I hope we win this war, so 25 v 25. Definitely want to get to 200 wins without losing from here on. Put us on like a 29 win streak if that does happen. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. That's it from me. Have a good day wherever you are, and bye-bye.